Hey guys. Good morning everyone and let's start the proceedings of uh, Sunday session. Now today's topic for discussion that is the first thing two phases I am dividing this entire topic. One is of understanding or analyzing the recent industrial needs and then of course after this first phase after analyzing then how we can change our approach what kind of expertise we will be we will be will be will be working on will be expertise on so that uh, we can establish a good software career ahead so let us start with first phase first part of it that is analyzing recent industrial needs now recent industrial needs means obviously whenever people uh, whenever we get the projects means obviously every project having its own investor now that investor will be either a company or an individual or the business owner that is that depends on who is investing but in the in case of commercial applications there is a investor we need to find out who is going to invest on the software right so while in in case of software projects the investors are like this basically the first kind of investors you will get that are they want to build the products for the society maybe the like uh, the companies like microsoft the google the facebook the twitter and all so they want to develop a product and then which which which, which will be useful for the society which will be useful for the mankind and then by that they will generate the revenue model for that and the second type of investors are those who are having their own business and they, they want to make a e-commerce sort of it they want to uh, like develop a software for their firms okay software for their businesses and uh, and the services to the to, the, uh, to their customers to, the, to their clients over there so the clients over there right now let us say if uh, now what kind of applications firstly people are preferring to uh, design and develop in the software the first thing that every business want to have their own web application now you know all the advantages of the web applications now web applications means by using your ww root you can you can connect worldwide to that software to that application get yourself registered login and do their online e-commerce business buying and selling of products or fetching the information right doing the whatever like obviously it will vary every every web applications is not going to do the e-commerce applications only so the organization want to grow global okay so they need uh, 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 web applications and that web applications whether it's a e-commerce based means buying and selling of product buying and selling of services right maybe the freelancing applications maybe the like uh, multi-vendor type of applications where uh, you can uh, you can select the product and you can uh, like buy the product and have a uh, money transactions e-commerce transactions e-commerce means money transactions buying and selling of products and services so this is one type of big need okay to uh, like online chat applications right e-commerce applications and sort of now after web applications obviously right now the huge demand is of a mobile applications because you know 
we we all have a smartphones now now smartphones means internet enabled for enable phones you want to watch the videos from youtube you want to connect with the social media through facebook twitter everything will be available on your smartphones right so these smartphones you can use to uh, perform this all the e-commerce or uh, like the chat applications like a whatsapp or any other any other purpose over there right so every application will have the web applications as well as it, it it has to be in the form of app right now web applications if if you are if you are considering obviously that web application has to be in the responsive manner the reason is very simple it it should like the first priority of a web application that it should be good well uh, uh, attractive designs has to be there at the same time it has to be the responsive right responsive because like uh, uh, the worldwide if you can view the web if you can access the web from the various sizes of the devices maybe somebody might be using a laptop somebody might be using a big screen somebody might be using the tab somebody might be using some other uh, devices to connect with the web so in all these situations we need to the first primary requirement requirement is that there has to be the web applications but it has to be the responsive enough and it should it should be the good uh, having the good uh, designs so that like uh, you know, uh, people can attract towards this all the uh, web applications over there, right so the first thing what we are uh, we uh, uh, we need that is a good web applications every businesses are expecting that is they have they should have their own uh, web applications right to perform the e-commerce or chat or any other things and the second thing that their applications has to be in the mobile form right mobile form in the sense mobile app form now in case of mobile apps you know that worldwide there are two types of uh, popular uh, uh, operating systems or the platforms are there one is ios right and second is of android right so the investors are investing on the apps right designed through the ios or the android so now the thing is in industrial requirements you will find that okay people are going to invest on the wave and the app right second next is maybe uh, they want to invest on the software as a service means like uh, means uh, just like uh, if you if if there is a insurance software so all the insurance uh, like uh, people can able to use that software maybe the uh, medical software which is available on the on, on, on the cloud cloud okay so that everyone can use it sort of so this is what this is what exactly requirement of web and app format is a requirement of industrial need okay so software as a service or commercial applications that can be used over there now let us understand means we like okay web and app format that is okay but like which technology okay need to be used that is what we are going to discuss later on okay and then uh, for developing the, which is the best technology and because as a software engineer obviously we are uh, not coming in the category of investors we are we are coming in the category of we have to invest our expertise to develop these applications over there so the first investors will invest you, you should you'll get the projects of or you'll get you'll, you'll be get an opportunity to work as a web developer you'll be get an opportunity to work as a app developer then the other as i told you about the software as a service okay that kind of investors are there then we are having the investors on uh, uh, let's say data science where uh, artificial intelligence based applications right where you can train the machines for uh, performing certain tasks iot based applications right so these kind of, these kind of uh, uh, things 
uh, these kind of opportunities uh, you will get it over there. But let us understand firstly, uh, as, uh, as uh, you, you are at the primary level of okay, applications. So instead of discussing about data science, artificial intelligence, IoT, machine learning and all this approach, first of all, let us focus on web and app development over there. So recent industrial needs, okay, or means like every organizations want to go global. The reason is very simple. They want to do a business worldwide, right? And it's a, it's the simplest media. You have, uh, like every uh, every corner of the world, people can able to connect by using their WW routes. Okay, they have to type and then they can do the business. Whether it's e-commerce business, whether it's a data transmissions, whether it's a online chatting, or whatever type of applications they are having, so they can they can easily able to uh, perform that kind of uh, uh, that that kind of utilities over there. So they will invest on the wave. Second is their users, their clients want to access it not using the double route, but but at the same time they want to connect using the mobile apps, and for that reasons they will go with the mobile apps over there. Now. The what kind of uh, platforms they are preferring, okay, to go with the web and uh, mobile apps over there. The first thing, if you want to go with the web version, okay, so the first primary uh, on the top of the priority people are recommending that is the React, right? Why, uh, why React? Okay, there are many advantages of React. Okay, it's a single page application, right? At the same time, it's a component based model, so faster in the executions lesser the time to load okay so there are there, there are many advantages of react so by first preference of users like e-commerce applications and like whether they need where they need the faster executions and the uh, synchronizations of uh, like uh, the, the pages and all so in certain situations okay they'll they'll go with the react development over there so if you want to establish your uh, software career as a web developer okay so react react js has to be on the top priority right the second preference they'll give you the angular right so angular is also another platform which you are using for uh, uh, ui development or the front end development so either react or second is angular these two things are used because of their component based modeling single page applications okay at the same time they are they are having their own material they are having their own supportive material material library right so that uh, and, and like uh, asynchronous calls also there okay means they, they will be uh, page entire page will not be refreshed only uh, refresh only that particular sections will be refreshed so these all features will be, uh, are there and because of that react and angular are much more much much more used worldwide uh, for the front end development right and this is about your your front end developments over there because right now if you uh, if, if you if you have the knowledge of html css javascript that is okay but that is the core development of a page uh, web pages over there so as i told you about the various advantages nowadays because of uh, uh, it has to be the single page applications now HTML, CSS, JavaScript produces uh, like number of n number of pages and that are linked pages over there so it will take a more time to load they, they are not able to provide the asynchronous calls okay every page will be refreshed and then the data will be loaded so it becomes a slow and because of that all the uh, 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 they, they, they prefer to have a component modeling and then that is uh, that is available in the react and angular so up, after exploring about html css javascript you have to uh, you have to you have to go to the next level of uh, learning react angular and instead of javascript there is a typescript uh, 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 like scripting language is preferred in this case right so this is about the front end development and if you want to go with the uh, app development okay then app development like there is a react native okay react native is a, is a popular cross platform app development tool where we can use a, where you can able to develop a, uh, apps for the uh, uh, ios as well as android as well both the versions can be designed and developed by the react native developer there is a flutter okay 
there is a ionic these are all the uh, platforms just like the react and angular we are discussing in the similar manner uh, ionic having its own platform uh, I, I, I like the angular having the uh, Re react produces re provided react native library and angular provides ionic library right with the help of which developers can able to develop the cross platform app development right and there is one another uh, uh, like uh, uh, toolkit or another library is used that is called as flutter so with the help of which we can able to provide the cross platform app development means you, you can go with the uh, uh, react native you can go with the angular or your you can you can even prefer the flutter to uh, develop the cross platform cross platform means one app can be run like means like uh, app can one one technology can able to produce the app required for and uh, uh, required for android as well as required for ios as well and this is called as cross platform app development earlier to this react native ionic and flutter okay we have to produce the apps for a, a different app development for native native development for ios and different means like two developers two individual developers we were needing to develop the two uh, platform apps right so the app which is uh, used in the which, which is available in the play store that is the android type of app so it will be that app can be run only on the android devices but as you know worldwide only android devices are not there okay there are the ios uh, uh, most mostly used so for the ios this kind of uh, android app will not work they are, they are required the uh, like uh, ipk okay means like there is an app store apple store right so uh, uh, for that reasons uh, you, uh, you have to produce the ios app and ios app can be produced through react native flutter as well as ionic as well so recent industrial needs are in the web and app format for the uh, beginners over there after that obviously uh, and for that reason you should be prepared with the uh, your uh, html css javascript these are the basics but after that uh, for the uh, commercial application development you should be through with the react angular right and if you are looking towards the career as a app developer obviously you should you should be at least uh, one uh, technology you should be through with it uh, react native right ionic and the flutter on the top preferences react native and react is there right so this is what uh, actually industrial needs now i i like i would like to uh, go to the next level whenever the investor uh, in, investor is not going to uh, uh, decide right what technology is most efficient and preferable over there they come up with the, uh, the, the the plan that okay this is what what my business okay and this is what uh, i want to they, 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 they just uh, they just express the need of the software so obviously need of the software for the reason uh, for the for the reason that they want to go global they want to the global business right they want to reduce the manpower okay and all these stuffs are there so uh, once the uh, so that they will have an investment plan and they want to uh, have a software for it so then the the software companies who want to work on the product or who want to provide the services for the software development their business analyst right here is the here comes the role of a business analyst so this business analyst understand the problem definition understand the the, the the need of the of the client or called as the stakeholders okay the, and he will he will come up with a plan that okay if they can if they can develop this kind of web applications okay if they can be able to develop this kind of app development then uh, probably they will be beneficiary they will be get the benefits and then how how we can achieve that objectives and all so business analyst is a position right where it, it, it will become a bridge between the, uh, the investors and the software company so he will firstly analyze the entire uh, requirement right and then that requirement to convert it to the solutions he will recommend certain certain solutions right okay well, software solutions but that solutions are in generic in nature okay there, there is a need of a wave there is a need of a like uh, this application 
architecture and all this thing, all uh, 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 kind of applications will be there. That will be decided on the uh, in, and that in that level and in that phase. After that, these things once it is confirmations about that okay, there is a need of such kind of software, such kind of uh, applications. Then it go to the CTO, right? Chief Technical Officer. Now this Chief Technical Officer will understand. Uh, the requirement of the client okay, through the business analyst and he will uh, lay down the plan for uh, uh, like let's say entire uh, technical architecture to impl implement these all the uh, to, to achieve these all the objectives right uh, set by the uh, set by the applications okay, what kind of uh, technical requirements will be there right so uh, thoroughly uh, uh, that CTO will uh, understand right so uh, and then lay down the plan for implementation of this uh, entire application uh, application and application architecture designed by this business analyst right so there they will they will uh, come come to know that okay which technology is to, uh, has to be used why it has to be used what are the advantages right and like uh, considering uh, uh, there may be any prior applications already available with the stakeholders or they want to start with a new and all. So in this manner, in this phase, they'll uh, have a lay down the plan for this entire applications development. Okay, the, the, they, they'll, they'll plan the flowchart, system flow, and everything. And then, uh, 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 like uh, before uh, finalizing everything, which the technology also get decided over there. Right. And after that, once uh, uh, the the objectives need to be achieved from the systems. Okay, why the system required that is clear by business analyst. Then the uh, the implementations plan uh, approved uh, or designed by the CTO, right? And then 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 the teams will be formed. Okay, then there is a role of uh, comes of a uh, project managers. Okay, and the team leads and the teams. Okay, there there will be role because these are uh, the, the, these these entire fellows will be responsible for now implementing the team implementing the objectives of the project okay uh, by uh, first of all they will divide this entire objectives into the milestones okay they will uh, recommend the team they will form a team they will form a team lead okay and the entire action plan for implementing this uh, entire uh, entire applications right that has that that plan will be uh, confirmed and then the uh, development starts right whether it's a uh, first of all development will not start directly okay first of all uh, they have to come up with the designs right designs of the front-end designs app designs ui designs and then that once that uh, designs will be approved right and uh, then 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 uh, the next will next will uh, uh, what project manager will do uh, it will create the feature list it will create the task list okay for the implementations and then task by task uh, the implementation starts in the task list. Uh, obviously, the module, sub module, and then uh, uh, the purpose of that particular uh, sub module and uh, the number of hours devoted in that. Okay, and uh, uh, who will be uh, working on that particular team. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, once everything is uh, clear, what kind of objectives they are going to achieve? They need to plan about the UI designs. Now, UI designs means how the home page will look like, how the inner pages will be look like, that kind of stuff. In case of app, they'll be designed the entire right from the splash screen to logo, right to the like every possible uh, how the app will look like and how the app will uh, perform these all the objectives. That UIs will be approved and then finally is actually start uh, uh, start development over that, right? So if you are a, 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 a React or the Angular developer, okay, you will get that templates designed by the by the UI uh, UI developers, and then these templates you have to convert into the actual web pages, right? And then the the actual uh, front end uh, development of a web and the app starts, right? As per the milestones achieved over there, my, milestone defined over there. Then there is a role of a, a back end developer, so. In the case of a backend development, nowadays it's a popular, uh, like if you are, uh, it's a node we are using for the API development, right? Because as I told you, the most popular uh, 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 kind of 
architecture that is the mean or mon mean means okay where the mongodb express js angular right and node and uh, in case of mon uh, it will be more uh, ui development is a uh, uh, react uh, over there and then so uh, uh, basically by using this full stack development okay react angular express js mongodb node so node is actually most mostly useful as is uh, from the uh, inherited from the javascript family okay js family so uh, node is preferable for the api development right and the back end development over there so these all the, uh, now nowadays the application architecture is preferably of a app uh, uh, of api development these all the apis developed by the back end developer need to be tested okay in the postman's and then for the for various responses and this front end developer will use this test these apis and if able to integrate the api apis to perform the perform the task in from the front end this like there is a login api there is a registration api now what this api means api stand for the application programming interface it, it uh, uh, requires some uh, payloads uh, the, the 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 parameters to be passed on and this it will be it, it have a ability and it, it, it has been written in such a manner that it have a ability to accept the data from the user right and process onto the uh, onto the server right and give the response so there are the uh, uh, there are the various uh, api methods gate post put delete and all this like to perform the CRUD operations with the server uh, the apis need to be developed and this api need to be integrated with the with the with the front end so that directly uh, uh, that when once the event is triggered that all the data will be passed on to the server and api will do the uh, needful data process and develop the response to the user so in case of uh, the entire front end development right what we what we need uh, front front end and back end development front end developer has to design the develop the ui right as per the requirement and then the like uh, it has to integrate the apis right integrate the api so that like that uh, uh, entire data will be get processed from the server and develop the response so this is the way uh, the front end development uh, should be well versed with the uh, development of the front end at the same time we should able to have we should ever have, have an ability to taste the apis okay given by the back end developer at the same time we should have the ability to integrate the apis right into the into the front end part and as a backend developer, you should be uh, you should be through with how to develop the API, how to develop the backend logic, right? And then how to uh, uh, integrate these uh, uh, these APIs and the backend logic with the database. Yes, backend developer should be uh, well versed with the uh, data structure, uh, defining or responsible for defining data structures, table relationships, right? and then able to develop the apis and and produce the api documentations which a front end developer can understand and uh, with the help of these all the parameters he can able to taste the apis and then he can able to understand the apis as well so this is what uh, they actually and if you are a uh, targeting to the full stack developer okay means like you then uh, obviously people are prefers to go with the front end back end and the uh, database everything can be uh, uh, you can able to perform so on right so this is what the responsibility and the role of a front-end developer and then in case of app development right you are uh, again the same thing is there now app developer means you are uh, as per the designs given by the designers you should able to develop the front end you should able to uh, like integrate the apis and then uh, that app should be uh, like performing accordingly right so this is what exactly uh, uh like the role of a developer comes over there right so uh, just understand I, today i want to make you understand what is the role of a business analyst a business analyst actually understand the requirement of the investors and he will be responsible for uh, to lay down the plan okay uh, uh, to, so that uh, how uh, the applications benefits will be, application is going to benefits to the stakeholders right so this is what the requirement of a business analyst he will understand the business analyze the business and provide the solution to the industrial investors right and then there is the role of a technical officer who is actually converting that uh, plan of a business analyst to the 
technical developments over there and then there is a role of a, a project manager who will be in charge of will be managing this entire technical to a team to deliver the milestones over there so in this way this entire entire entire, entire work entire uh, team will work project manager okay you got a team lead okay team lead obviously he is having a uh, like experience of everything okay there may be the two team leads one is a web web team lead and second is a app team lead so obviously uh, the, that team lead will be uh, having a expertise on the uh, and the, and the uh, what i can say the experience enough of the front end development and he will be responsible he will be guiding his uh, subordinate uh, teammates okay if there are if there are any, any issues are there right so he will be more, much more senior guy product manager will be responsible be responsible for all this uh, milestones need to be achieved day to day uh, uh, the the operations uh, or the, the day to day developments are uh, like happening in case of way bad app and then uh, once the milestone is achieved it has to be demonstrated okay so he will be uh, more much more responsible for uh, uh, like uh, planning the things okay planning the milestones uh, planning the uh, and the developmental pace and everything right and uh, de demonstrate to the to the client as well so this is what how uh, uh, what and like how the entire uh, software industry or uh, so software companies are working over there right so everybody there, there are the designers there are the managers there are the leads and ultimately who is going to implement uh, this entire uh, technical development that is the developers over there right so now nowadays what the developmental life cycle will be there uh, every day yeah the uh, task list is already defined over there there are the various project management tools are there just like a jira okay there's like various various tools are there or even in the excel sheet also okay there is like there is a task list defined for you means uh, in this week okay what objectives need to be need to be achieved right so uh, as a developer if you are a developer okay, by your name the task tasks are uh, there so uh, project manager or team lead will explain you the task what you have to define and uh, and you have to set up set up a local project project locally over there right after that you can achieve that all the objectives and once you once that once that uh, my, once that objective is reviewed by the team lead then uh, it will be it will be pushed that code into the git now git means it's a version control software where various users can able to uh, uh, share their uh, uh, share their code and like merge their code over there right so uh, every user can work remotely okay uh, like they, they can they can clone the project they can add their own code in that and then they, they will be uh, they will be creating their own branch and submit the code to the github and then git will um, uh, able to merge it to the main branch and then through the ci cd pipeline this merge code through the git okay so that that goes to the uh, testing server that goes to the uh, demonstration server that goes to the production server so th this is this is the way how the entire uh, 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 the the entire software uh, uh, companies or entire software developers works over there so if you are a, 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 a developer then you, what your responsibility to get the task list from the project manager or the team lead you should be responsible for uh, uh, creating the project locally clone the project locally okay from the git you should be well versed right now as a software developer if you want to establish you should be well versed about the git operation now git means as you know that like if you are writing a program individually you are not the individual individual enough to develop the entire project okay you will be the part of that project so if you are if you are a uh, if you are a front end developer of a web if you are a front end developer of a app or if you are a back end developer or means there there will be the team 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 may be of five of five of a size team may be of a 10 of a size means everybody have to perform their work and then push the code this this push the that that push code will be reviewed and then get merged right so everyone will will uh, uh, will write their code will uh, uh, achieve the task achieve, achieve the objective of the task and then it has to push the code that code will be merged together in the git so that is the ability git is having and that pushed code merge code reviewed code will be passed on to the uh, 
have passed on to the server, okay, through the CI/CD pipeline of whether it's AWS server, there is obviously cloud services will be used over there. So if you are that Google Docker or AWS, whatever, but there is a CI/CD pipeline there, they will be established, which will directly put on the server. And the, when the code will be directly pushed on the server, then you will you can able to test through the URLs, right? So uh, uh, here, if you type www Google or www Facebook directly, it will be uh, 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 that web page will be appear or the updates will be appear. But actually, the entire process will be function like this. Okay, the developer will develop the code, it will push the code, and then it goes to the uh, uh, it goes to the first of all the, the testing server, develop uh, demonstration server, and then the, that means like uh, obviously directly nobody will push the code into the production. Okay, it will be tested, demonstrated, and all right. There comes the role of a, a quality analyst. Okay, whatever the code produced by the developers, okay, you will test it, uh, test it for the uh, objective, test it for the uh, for the bugs and all, and then the tested code will be go for the business acceptance, and then business acceptance code will be go to the uh, demonstration server and testing server and all, and then finally it comes to the productions. So this is what the way the entire uh, life cycle of the software will work. Now my today's motive and today's agenda was the same to just give you the what is industrial requirement as you are uh, starting your software career. So you have to decide, okay, because obviously the first primary thing that learn everything, okay, whatever comes in uh, uh, comes in front of you, right? So right from the like, right from the how to write the code, how to write the develop the web pages, and uh, uh, and then uh, like obviously. Uh, you have to learn about the React. Uh, you got to learn, if you if you are a web developer over there, you have to learn the uh, mean or more and then you should learn well versed with the Git operations, and then you have to work on the projects. Okay, so that like these all the te technical stacks has to be clear. So the motive behind giving this all the all the all the knowledge all the knowledge transfer to you that as a developer, whenever you are trying to establish uh, uh, your software career. As a, as, a, as a developer over there so uh, or uh, whichever the position you would like to work it on that obviously your business analysts CTO project managers team leads these are the positions given to the quality analysts these are the positions uh, given to the uh, experienced developers over there if you are in the starting phase over there you should be uh, start as a junior developer right and a junior developer have a responsibility that uh, the, the instructions given by the uh, team leads need to be followed. You have to uh, uh, create your own local projects, and once the objective is done, okay, it has to be the code need to be pushed to the Git and all. So minimum, you should be have a good knowledge of uh, 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 React, Angular, okay, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and uh, in, uh, and then you should have a uh, good knowledge of a Git, okay, so that like you can you can push the code over there. So uh, right now, as I told you. The industrial uh, investment investments are in the web and app development, right? And then, uh, if you are uh, 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 used to be the uh, a certain certain, uh, if you are having an interest in the data science at all, obviously, you should be going to the, the uh, you should follow uh, the server side coding or the like the Python or this kind of language over there. And then, uh, obviously, you should be working on the uh, data analysis, okay? It should be uh, the project related to the data science and all, right? So the pro programming like now data uh, data analysis and data science, okay? These are the two different things are there. So here there there, there you are uh, accumulating, uh, you are working on the data to uh, develop certain uh, like uh, to, to analyze it or the predictions things are there, right? So you you oh, first thing is uh, data. Uh, data collection techniques, data cleaning techniques, data training techniques, and then finally you need to come up with certain analysis. So there are like there are various uh, scope and the various fields are there on the basis of expertise. But everything needs and demands the 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 kind of good knowledge about all the things, right? And then if you can able to showcase the good knowledge, you can if you can able to show showcase the good inclinations over that particular subject, then industry will invest on you, give an opportunity. And then you can able to establish a good software right over there. So my today's uh, uh, entire motive of this particular uh, like, uh, session is to give you the idea that okay, what is industrial needs, okay, and uh, what uh, we need to learn, and what we need to expertise to have a good software career right over there. 
so i believe in within these short durations okay you might be understanding uh, the, the the things what is required uh, yeah, as per the industrial standards and if you want to establish your software career these are the uh, these are the skill sets which you want to to be there okay so i believe uh, uh, everything uh, you understand from my end okay and then uh, if you have any queries we can see to it later so uh, start working start uh, uh, exploring the things over there and i wish you a very good software career ahead thank you guys